Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your extended from this morning's reading. If you haven't seen that already I would go ahead and watch that first because this one will make a lot more sense. If you would like to support this channel uh, there are different ways in the description box. I have Patreon. I have three different donation levels where you can interact with me more. I also have beautiful gratitude journals that I'm selling also in the links below. I have a link for donations and I also put links for these beautiful cards that I use um, as affiliate links on Amazon and that also helps. So every way you can help me is in the description below. I do not have WhatsApp and I do not do personal readings. So if you have anybody contacting you, asking you and saying it's me, it is not. Okay, just letting you know this. So make sure you check with all the links below before you answer anything. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to carry on with this morning's, which really wanted us to focus on rest, rejuvenation, and the way the world should be going, going moving forward, okay? These are the things that you should really be um, focusing on yourself as well, because a world that has going at breakneck speeds, always trying to meet the challenge of every single day, driving themselves, we're driving ourselves to the point where we have no time to think or no time to do anything. So I didn't show the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck has a Three of Pentacles. This is always a card of um, spirit for me. So I always feel like this is spirit coming in and saying, um, we're here for you, we're here to help you. But in this case, they're also showing me that the more of us do this, the more of us who prioritize um, rest and rejuvenation and healing and recuperation, that's all this for the swords mean, um, the more we're going to become enlightened, the more we're going to become empowered, okay? We're going to restore um, some of our insight, some of our um, time of, what are they showing me, the uh, introspection and the wisdom that we receive the self-reflection and the contemplation that we receive through meditation and rest. So that's very important as well, okay? So if you make it a, a need in your life, then you're making it a need, you're making a new reality, okay? And that's all what we're about right now. That new reality is focusing on the marriage and the happiness and the cooperation of our human bodies with our spiritual bodies and our journeys here on the planet, okay? We, I don't think we were ever meant to be um, slave to our jobs. So that's that's one of them, okay? I'm going to pull a color card. Hopefully it's not like red. Look, watch them give me red, okay? But I, I would know what to do with that. Yes, they did. They gave me plum. That's so funny. But actually it's called Overcome Your Challenges 41. So I like this. Um, it does have, it's not quite as fiery red. It feels more like the plums, the, the darker reds of fall, which is nice. Um, let's see what it has to say. 41 ends up at 5. 5 hard numbers. Always hard numbers. They feel always like a challenge to me. Okay, that's going to be probably one of the planet's biggest challenge to slow it down. It it did do it in the time we had to slow down, but now that things are booting back up, uh, a lot of people want things to just you know start moving as fast as they did, and I don't I don't see it happening. <laughs> I hope I hope it doesn't. I we want we don't you don't ever want to finish a period of learning having learned nothing. Okay. So this is a color of devotion, dedication, commitment that connects you to your heart and life purpose. Okay, so it says uh, creating deep bonds and friendship relationships assists you to stay strong through hardships and difficult situation. It's a color of deep inner strength and faith. Okay, it says to you use plum rays to overcome challenges and discover your life purpose. So it says this, if you're facing something difficult, make sure you surround yourself with plum. Wear plum clothes, shoes, or jewelry. Eat plums. Paint with this color. Visualize ray of plum to soothe your heart and soul. So soothing is good, especially we don't want to be like just you know pushing the envelope here. We're trying to um, slow things down. We're trying to heal. So I'm gonna leave that there. 
Underneath is lemon in case you were interested. And it says access innovative thinking. I do believe it is also a five. So between the two of them, it's almost telling you Pisces, when you take this time of rest, you're going to be accessing something bigger. And I feel this reading has been saying that all along. Okay, it is, it is priority. It is necessary are the words. They're, they want me to use the big words. To rest. To recuperate. So that we can rebalance things. We can see the truth in situations. Okay. So I'm going to take a chakra card. Hmm. Universal light. Okay. So this is great. I feel the sac the the sacral chakra or it 34 is it I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk for I'm gonna look first I'm gonna look first I don't think it's third eye yeah I mean where am I it's the soul star chakra and the the thing about the universal light that I love is that when I was reading from this book this morning what did it say uh, it said something about slowing down to get in touch with the universe and the universal light comes out. So this is really, of course, connecting everything together, right? Right. So let's see here. Look at that. Such a beautiful card. Such a beautiful card. Mm -hmm. You have pulled this card today to remind you that you're always connected to and an extension of the powerful universal light of the cosmos. This light is what fuels your soul and gives birth to the stars. It is the all-wise, all-knowing, all-loving energy of the universe. This light is divine. Unconditional love is its purest. Sometimes you can feel disconnected and shut off from this light. However, in truth, you are an extension of and made up of this energy and can never be separate. This light loves, guides, and supports you at all times. You are being encouraged to focus on this divine connection to the cosmos and do what is required to deepen and awaken fully to this universal light. You may like to introduce meditation to your daily routine. Here we go. Okay, meditation, rest, relaxation. Okay. Daily routine here they're saying. Attend a spiritual awakening event or workshop. Work with some powerful breathing exercises or even take up yoga to deepen your connection. Whatever you choose, make sure to action this connection to the universal light of the cosmos. As you awaken to this unconditional love, you will feel an abundance of wisdom, support, strength, and light within you and your world. It will assist you to make clear decisions as you step towards your personal power. Your heart will expand with love as your soul heals the card of healing. Okay, I'm, I can't make this up, you guys, okay? I know it's, a, it's something that we over-abuse as readers, but honestly... If this isn't a sign, okay, if I was just missing nobody off the sidewalk, I, I don't know what is. They send us clear signal. I always tell you guys, I'm just plain Jane, okay? And the stuff that they give me is, it's gold, just like the colors of these cards, okay? They give us so much wisdom. I also wanted to thank the people who make these beautiful cards, these beautiful guidebooks. Okay, They give us such beautiful tools, honestly, from the deepest recesses of my heart. I would, it, my job, I could do it, but they inspire um, the way the message comes out. So you have to be grateful to them always. I am so grateful to them. I'm going to continue now. Um, your heart will expand with love and, and your, as your soul heals, bringing you peace of mind and well-being in your world. This universal light of the universe loves you no matter what you have or haven't done in your life. It does not judge and it is unconditional. It understands you at the deepest level. This light is you, your pure essence. Open your heart to receive the love of universal light available to you at all times. You are an amazing, powerful being. And now it is time to believe in your light. Affirmation. I'm a divine channel of universal light. So they're basically telling you right now, Pisces, that 
one of the reasons that you need to rest is it is imperative and there is that word that I've been looking for it is imperative that you stay connected to them okay because you need that rest you need that time so that you can reconnect with them on this level okay so underneath you have ah oh, the card of abundance blessings abundance Okay, this is the eight, this is the nine of cups. Look at that, you guys. Okay, so this is your way to abundance. Okay, take it as a, take it as a needed thing to get to where you need to go and figure out what you need to do. It's not just, oh, you need to take a rest. It's, no, no, this is imperative. This is the word I think is the right one, finally. It's imperative that you live your life this way, okay? To have the balance of rest and then work so that you can produce, okay, what you need to. All right, so I'm using the bit to row. The Ten of Earth, the card of abundance. I think they're just making it plain, aren't they? They're going like, yeah, the other one was eight. Yeah, eight. Abundance, nine blessings, ten abundance. Are we being clear enough? Is what they're saying at this point. Are you getting it now? <laughs> All of this rest and and um, time to recuperate makes you an optimal tool for receiving the universal light. And also an optimal tool to learn, go on your journey, do what needs to be done to get to where you need to be. And accomplish the things that you want and need in your life. It's, it's just the way it is. It's like, a, it's like a, an interconnected thing, just like our soul is to our body. It's an interconnected thing that just makes us work. It's good for our health. It's good for our physical health. Okay? To have this time to reconnect, to do the yoga, to eat well, to have food, to laugh with friends, to recuperate, to have a time of productive work. It's supposed to be all in marriage with each other. It's not supposed to be out of balance like we make it, okay? Where we work so hard that we come home brain dead, that all we do is watch a television all night. And, uh, and sh try to shut off our brains and slowly disconnect from everything. Um, there's a lot here, okay? And I'm not saying TV is bad. I like watching my shows, hell yeah. But sometimes we do it because we just have nothing left, okay? I remember being in that state of mind. You come home and you go, I just want to eat, do the dishes, and there's nothing left. I have nothing left. All right, so you have the three of fire. So it's time to launch this. It's time to put these things in motion. These, these ideas of making us a priority, not power, not greed, but the human condition so that we can reconnect with the spiritual condition. You understand? So for a lot of us, I know that some of us, and I'm, I'm hearing from some of us, you're going, that's, that's all well and fine, okay? In La La Land, Jane, everybody can just do whatever the hell they want. And, you know, the money will fall from the sky. I understand. I do. I very much like you. I've called myself the spiritual accountant. When they wanted me to do this, I told them, you guys are nuts. I will never make enough money to do this. As much as I would love to do this all the time, I will never be able to sustain enough to get by um, with a lot of luck and love from their part I'm sure I have been able to not millions but more than enough for me to get from month to month without fearing that I'll be destitute which is good okay you have to adapt your situation to make it become what you need it to be I would rather do this now than anything else I would never go back to where I was even if this ended I need to live in a space that I have some kind of balance more than a lot more than what it was before 
And I don't blame anybody for keeping myself in that situation. I blame myself. I had convinced myself that there was no other way. We live in a world with great big opportunities now, much more than when I graduated high school in the late 80s. There you go, now you know how old I was. There was none of this. There was no YouTube. There was none of this. Everything was just about to start. It was very hard to decide to be a writer, to decide to follow your passions, because it meant adverse poverty. Now, there is so many ways that you can creatively just blow yourself up, okay? It just needs a little bit of planning, a uh, little bit of tweaking on how you're going to live and work, but also tapping back into who you are. And this is what this is all about, Pisces, okay? You can plan these things. You can work towards it, okay? Nine of Fire, Nine of Wands. Telling you, not going to be easy, okay? But if you persevere, if you work at it, uh, like I said before, I had started doing something different. Trying to help people get out of debt. That's what I had started doing here. And it turned into this. Um, that helped some people. This is helping a lot of people. But through learning and going in five and six years of working at it, Pisces, uh, even working the other job at the same time, i finally getting to a point where I'm okay, okay? You just have to keep trying. You may get tired. And this is about fatigue, okay? But persevering at the goal that you want, at what you are trying to bring forth, your abundance, happiness, finally rest and recuperation, is a different kind of tired, okay? Tired because you are working too hard, making somebody else money at something that you have no passion about, a completely different kind of tired. If you can work for somebody else and you are passionate about their business, that's fine, okay? You guys know what I mean. People who are stuck, you know who you are. You are listening to this and you know how tired you feel. You know how at the end of it you are, okay? So maybe it's time today, at this point in your life, to look at things in a different way, okay? And don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. This is what they say. Shine the light on it, okay? Put the stars back into your eyes, back into your field of vision, okay? Make your dreams come true. Make your life the one that you have imagined. Not saying, that'll never happen. Say, what can I do today? How can I take, you know, an hour, meditate, rest, take the time to reconnect with myself, to see if I'm facing my true north. Very important, okay? Yeah, they're getting in deep here. It's important though, Pisces, it is. And I will tell you something. My husband does work for somebody else. He works, he's a mechanic. He works on big equipment. And it's something that he likes doing. So he works for somebody else and he likes doing it. And I'm not saying that his work conditions are perfect. Nobody's is. But that's why he's been at it for over 20 years. Because it gives him the challenge and the reward that he feels. I still think he works too many hours, <laughs> and he probably agrees with me because he gets tired, but at least it fulfills a passion in him, okay? So it doesn't mean that you have to just work for yourself. It's whatever brings magic into you, whatever makes you feel or gives you personal power. This is so important. When you feel like your power has been taken from you, you feel very depleted, very tired, very much in need of rest, very much in need to just 
um, um, disconnect. Okay, um, so it's all about empowerment, right? So that's what he's talking about with his job. He feels empowered. He feels needed. He feels like he is accomplishing something. Okay, it's like he is master at his trade. So people come to him and say, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure you will. And then he does, and then he feels like a, mag a magician. Somebody who knew how to fix something. It gives him a great amount of, of uh, personal empowerment. Okay? So, apply, apply your power, your wishes, your dreams to your goals. Whatever those may be. Okay, if the messenger of air and the seven of fire, yeah, okay. So the messenger of air is the um, the knight of swords, and the seven of fire is the seven of wands. So I feel that you have to apply um, a lot of determination and speed to this. Okay, again, there are a lot of determined cards here. They're going, bring it. Uh, I'm, I'm, you're ready for this battle. You're ready to surmount this. And it also helps you when you're going for your goals, when you're doing this. It helps you meet the challenges that come in. They don't feel like they're depleting or sucking the life out of you. You're ready to face the challenge. You're ready to soar in, to charge with the horse. She doesn't have a horse, but she has one now. So she has a unicorn. She's ready to charge in and just take control and and do what needs to be done, okay? And this is what this offers you, all of this. This is what this brings in for you, Pisces. Okay, so that is it. For that, I'm going to turn this card around, the Four of Earth, right? Okay, so the Four of, Pe of Pentacles. It's all about having control, okay? Protecting your stuff, holding on tightly to what you believe in. For some of you, I feel that this card is showing that, for some of you, this idea of going in a new direction is going to be very scary because we hold on tightly to what we know. And that's okay, Pisces. Some of you are going to be sitting there and going, I wish I could, but I don't think I can. And you know what? One day you will. Trust me on this. I spent many, many years doing the same, saying the same thing. I kept saying, I wish I could, but I don't think I can until one day I did. That day will come with for you. And when it does, things are going to start making a lot more sense. Things are going to start aligning. And trust me, you make it a lot worse in your mind than it actually is. Remember, they can't take away what's yours to keep. What's always been yours. Okay? Nobody can take that away from you. I'm going to leave you on that note. I hope that this helped you. A lot came in in the second one. Of course, it always does. I feel like... I feel like I'm a, a hand puppet for spirit, and the second one always, always. Uh, I don't even feel of myself half the time. Um, I leave you with this, Pisces, though. I leave you with this beautiful reading. I hope that you can meditate on it and find your truth and your healing and your recovery period. I hope that you always plan it, regardless of what you're doing in your life, and and try to find time to do it for yourself. It's going to give, do you a world of good. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings, and I will see you for tomorrow's reading, as always. Take care, Pisces.